Hello and welcome to Air Combat USA. My name is Mike Rocket Blackstone. I'm going to be your host and guide today as I take our brand new student Johnny up for his first experience in the Marchetti SF260 with me. Back stick, left pedal. Now, here we go. Here's your spin. Now, before we go flying, I'm going to have to show him how to properly pre-flight the airplane, how to taxi it, turn it, make it go on the ground, and then we're going to go ahead and do a run-up to make sure it is good to fly. So, without further ado, let's go flying. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're at the Marchetti SF260. First walking up to the airplane, you kind of can sense its scale and its size, but when I look at this airplane, the first thing we're gonna look at is its general and overall condition. We're gonna check its fluids, make sure the oil is, is at the proper level, and then we're gonna check the fuel. So if we need any oil or fuel, we can call for that immediately, and uh, we'll walk around the airplane uh, to make sure everything is good to go before we fly. All right, so as we walk up to the Marchetti, the first place I walk up to is the forward left cowling, and I use my trusty uh, fuel tester, which has got a, a reversible uh, a screwdriver on it. So we go up here, we pull this thing out, and take a close look at the dipstick here. Open this up. Now what's in here is, of course, the Lycoming 0540 engine. Take a look at this thing. It's basically, a horizontally opposed six cylinder engine, 540 cubic inches. Looking for the condition of the, of the engine, make sure there's no leaks, everything's secure, everything's tight. And then this is where the brake fluid is. So we open this thing up a quarter turn to the left, take a peek in there, and it's at least three quarters full with uh, hydraulic fluid, 5606 hydraulic fluid. Then we check the blade of the propeller, feeling for nicks. Any kind of nick on this thing, not good. Now's a great time to take a look at the fuel. Popping up the fuel cap, take a peek. Looking for quantity. Should be all the way to the bottom of the neck. That's looking good. Close the lid down. When you drain gas, we're looking for the color and quality of the, of the fuel. We wanna see if there's any debris in there, any little rocks any little bit of water uh, or sediment in the bottom. This is totally clean, looks good. And that the safety pins are in, that looks good. 100 low lead gasoline for, for piston powered airplanes like the P-51 Mustang and the Marchetti SF-260, it's gotta be blue gas. Make sure that they got the right fuel in there, that's an important safety tip. This measures our altitude, make sure that that's, that's clear and not taped up, looks solid. All right, you guys, so that is a pre-flight of a Marchetti SF-260. And uh, now we're gonna go flying, here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing to start with a beacon on, boost on, 1001, 1002, 1003, boost off, throttle cracked, and here we go with the start. Clear. Keys all the way to the right, we push in. That's the, that's the starter, and action. All right. Nice and easy, clearing all that extra fuel out of there. Feel it. There you go. Oil pressure's coming up. PFD's coming on. We're gonna power up our Aspen. Throw out our G meter. Oil pressure's solid. Mixture is uh, is down to uh, the middle point, which is for the ground idle. That looks good. Eight and alternator switch is coming on. We're recharging the battery. And avionics switch is on. Looks great. Left main tank. Trim is set for takeoff. Ready to roll. All right, so here we go. We're gonna taxi this thing. You are on it. Right. Nice and smooth. Toes at the bottom of the pedal. Stick all the way back. Throttle with the left hand. So we bring the power up gently here. We're gonna steer this thing to the right. So look right, gently turn right. A little right pedal to fade the nose right. Right rudder. Start your turn. Power's coming up a little more. We got this guy who's uh, gonna pull in behind us, so we'll get in. And straight ahead, we'll get past this guy who's okay. coming out. How's it feeling so far? Stick all the way back, that looks good. Nice and easy, we're going right straight down the right side of the taxiway, which is fine. There's the center line, there is the yellow. We're just gonna get up here and make a right into the run-up area, which you'll see coming up. Okay. Okay, so throttle all the way to idle. I'm gonna start a nice gentle right-hand turn here. Squeeze a touch of brake from the top of the pedals, and then squeeze a little right pedal as we make a right-hand turn. 
and then straighten the pedals as we pull forward to the middle of this little parking spot. This is our run up area. Squeeze the pedals gently on the top, toes, squeeze them. Go ahead and try the little pedals at the top for brakes. See that? Oh yeah, right here, brakes. That's where they are. All right, duck your head forward. We're going to shut the lid for the run up. All right. So here's what we got. So we're going to bring the RPM up to 1700 uh, RPM on this one. So I'm going to power it up. What we get is a drop, a rise, and an oil pressure fluctuation at the same time. Ready? We're going to watch for it. Three, two, one. Drop, rise, fluctuation looks good. Okay, so we're, so we're, we're, we're setting up the cockpit here. We got all this set. The, the switches are set. Transponder set. Coming across the top. Alternator switches on. We're checking the load meter. So that's got uh, a nice positive charge. That's looking good. Coming across. The gear handle's in the down position, flaps are 20 degrees, and the altimeter set, we said 2996, so we set that with this little dot knob here on the lower left side, and that call that the Colesman window, so that sets the transponder, I mean the, uh, the altimeter, to the proper al altimeter setting. That looks great. G meter set, pressures, temperatures look good, quantities are solid. And control check now. We go across with the stick to the left, forward, across, back, all the way around. Make sure that this thing is going the right direction and that the, the flight controls are working appropriately. So if we move the stick left, the aileron comes up on the left side. Stick right, aileron comes up on the right side. Look at the elevator. And then the rudders. As we taxi, we move the rudders and we make sure the rudders are working properly. Everything looks good. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to do it? Oh yeah, let's do it. Here we go.